Learning objectives include epidemiology, what are various methods of epidemiology, and we will also talk about some definitions. Epidemiology is basically a study where and when diseases occur and how they're transmitted in a population. So basically, epidemiology includes when and where. Where that means that the location and also time. And then the third factor that we determine epidemiology is how they are transmitted. Well, in order to study epidemiology, we have various methods. One of them is a descriptive method where we record the data regarding the location and the time of the diseases. Other information may include gender, health of the individuals, their age, etc., etc. Another method is analytical where we determine the cause of the disease. From the analysis of the data that has already been gathered and we also determine from the data that what is the mode of transmission of the diseases and how we can prevent them. The third approach is experimental epidemiology. Here once we have established from the data, from the analysis of the data that there seems to be a cause of a disease, whether it's infectious or non-infectious, we then make a, hy a hypothesis and then we test that hypothesis. And this testing of hypotheses is called experimental epidemiology. And this also includes application of cost postulate. And just to tell you again, although we have discussed this in a previous lecture, cost postulates, these are the sayings or the observations made by Koch. Robert Koch was a German microbiologist. He postulated that there is always a cause of an infection, whether a bacteria bacterium or a virus. This must be present in the patient and must be isolated and then cultured in the lab. And if you see under the microscope, it should have some morphology. And then if you inject that organism into a lab animal, it should produce the disease. And then the same organism should be isolated from the diseased lab animal and demonstrated to be the same as it was originally seen. So these are called Koch's postulate. So they are tested in experimental epidemiology. Once we have established that this is a disease and there is a cause of the disease as well, and if that happens, that disease occurs in a population later on, it is called case reporting because reporting the cases is, is essential for the health department. Um, health workers report the cases of specific diseases, not all diseases, specific diseases that are um, economically important. They report them to either local or state um, and also to the national offices in a country. Information that is reported, it also include incidents and also prevalence of disease. These words, incidence and prevalence, we will elaborate them in the lecture. So, in the report, we include incidence and prevalence, and also we try to identify the origin and how the disease is spread, and because this data is helpful for the health department in preventing the disease from occurring. Diseases 
there are readily communicable and also they cause uh, economical uh, drainage on the country. They can kill the people. They can make the people sick. Uh, they are called notifiable diseases, and they must be reported to the health department because they're highly communicable and they're economically important. Also, those diseases that have been eliminated or eradicated from a country, if they occur again, they must be reported as well. Let's examine a few definitions that we would encounter in epidemiology. One is called morbidity. Morbidity basically is incidence of a disease. When we get sick, we become morbid. So morbidity rate is basically the number of people affected in a relation to the total population in a given time period. That is morbidity rate. So becoming sick means becoming morbid. Similarly, if from the disease somebody dies, that is called mortality. So, similarly, mortality rate could be calculated, which is based on the number of deaths from a disease in a relation to the population in a given time. Pathogenicity, we encountered this word earlier as well, but pathogenicity is the ability to cause a disease. It's the ability of an infectious organism to cause a disease. But virulence is the extent of that pathogenicity. Some organisms are less virulent, virulent than the others. So in summary, epidemiology is the study of where and when disease happens and how they are transmitted, basically. And there are various methods as we studied uh, descriptive epidemiology, analytical epidemiology, and experimental epidemiology. Just to name few, there are other methods as well. And we also talked about some definition like pathogenicity and virulence.